probably wondering, why do I have this thing of tin? It's, it's a pretty long piece of tin. About the length of my, my waist. I already cut myself with it, so. I'm going to make a dustpan, because I don't have one. And I've been using a cardboard box. And I kind of need something different than a cardboard box. It would be a lot nicer. I am going to finish this later on today so maybe it's supposed to get pretty hot out today, so. 90s not 80s like it was yesterday but I am going to try to finish this at least today it's galvanized so I can't throw it in the forge I can make fire and burn it but voice crack I don't feel like doing that, so I'm just going to wing it and not throw it in the fire, and I got 10 snips. I'm going to use these corners here to my advantage to bend it up and over. And I have a welder, but the generator is not here, and I don't have power to my shop yet, so. Yeah. That's the only problem that I have. But hopefully I end up here. I looked up a lot of videos last time I'm doing this. Let's get to making this huge. Well, it's not going to be that big, but it's going to probably be probably going to cut it here and here, and then fold these over and fold the back over, and hopefully I'll work out decently. And I got to start the forge to make a handle, and I got brass rods, so I get to use my brass rods for once. So hopefully it'll be a good day. Hopefully, we never really know. So, I've been hitting it. Luckily, I didn't record it because it was kind of boring. It's been sitting there. And this is what I got so far. Kind of looks more like a shovel. There's definitely no dirt that's going to be coming out. Now, I just got to figure out how I'm going to get this to see. If you can see it on the camera, it's not flat as I would like it to be. So, I got to figure out how and what I'm going to do that. And this is not flat enough surface. So I gotta find a really, really flat surface to do this. So yeah, I'll come back to you if I can find a flat surface to do this on. If not, then I'm gonna have to think of something. More, more thinking. Yay. So this is the only flat surface I can find. And it gets really loud in here, so I'm probably gonna put music over this here in a minute. So yeah. got some dirt. Oh, there's a good second burp of the day. I didn't get the other one on camera though. So, throw that there. Grab a broom here. Broom, 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 broom. Look, we got a little, little chunk of stuff here and then we're just gonna drop that. And then I'm just gonna, and then I'm just gonna, it, it kind of works, not really, kind of wish I had a different metal laying around, kind of all misses, I can't get it to go straight because it's tin, and it kind of leaks out right there a little, see, oh well, it's 
this is some dirt. I can't get it to get straight though. Maybe I'll hit these edges a bit more. I won't record that though. It's kind of boring. So yeah, I have a bet. Well, I'm bleeding. I was getting ready for that. Oh well. I don't think I'm going to use it. it. It's It won't stay straight. It won't even like just lay flat on the ground. Let's see. Oh well. Let's just get a tad bit closer. Oh yeah. Now it's time to... Oh. Hang on. Give me a minute. I kind of feel dumb. You didn't, you didn't see that. Okay. So tip, if you ever do get this stuff, don't don't use it. It's cool looking and all and but it 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 started leaving like a really really bad smell and I don't know what it is so I'm outside my shop window air out right now. It has a really really bad funky I don't know, it's something I've never smelt before. So I mean I know my respirator's right there but I'd rather be safe and just be out here waiting for it to air out a little. I don't like it. So I'm just gonna, I had a thing of crowbar right here. But water's ice cold though, so it should be okay now. I think it looks pretty fine and dandy. I'm just dropping everything. I think it does. It's going to sit on a wall like that. There's going to be a screw there and a screw down here, right? 
Oh, my stamping area is horrible. So I'm guessing there. That would be a lot different with a screw in it though too, so. I do kind of want to do some wire brush work to it at least a little. Make it look a little better. I don't know why I kept this. Wait, could you even see that? Probably not. Because I'm not paying attention to the camera. But you can kind of see my horrible stamp work. One right there. One right there if you can see it. You know, I don't have the best stamp. Or whatever you call it. I think it came out pretty good though. At least in my story. In my book. I don't know where that white stuff was. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do some little filing work. Shine it up a little. Or at least make it. Get some of this loose scale. Off. And stuff. Which is the easy stuff. Thank God I don't have to grind it. I'm not a big fan in grinding. So it involves me putting on the respirator and everything. So, yeah. so I'm going to get to grinding. Well, not grinding, my brushing and filing and stuff.